Welcome to Man in the Sands pub. I'm wearing red today for the red of England because that's where we are. We are tasting English whiskey. And how did we get to taste English whiskey other than recently it arriving on the shores of the Middle East? Well, it took an American. Isn't that the way? There was Daniel Zor, I believe that's the pronunciation of his surname, S-Z-O-R, a wealthy American in his farmhouse in the Cotswolds, he tells us, looking out over the fields and asking, why has no one made whiskey? Daniel, I'm with you. Thank you, sir. And by the way, if you want to expand, give me a call at the perfect location and resources. Until then, I shall taste your whiskey, sir. One of the things I like what Daniel has to say, if you look back at articles of his going back to the early days, he talks about having young people making the whiskey, making award-winning whiskey, by the way. So this is the entrance level, just bear that in mind. Now, what they do is they take the local Cotswolds barley, mash it, ferment it for approximately four days minimum, as I understand it. Then it's twice distilled through copper pots. From there, it gets put into, as often you'd expect it to be, American barrels, um, oak, red wine, casks. Uh, there it will be bottled and for this one it is cask strength. So I've got my work cut out for me because I always promise you that three amigos. So in advance and knowing that it's 60.4%, I have already added some ice. I've added the Padre's Holy Spirit. That's been working its magic for no less than 10 minutes. And I'm going to give it a go direct. And I must say, you're lucky to watch me do this because normally I'd say cast strength. I think I'm getting too old to keep drinking cast strength without having water added. But we're going to give it a go. Is there anything else I can tell you? Uh, it's batch is uh, Number two of 2019, it's one of 2,500 bottles produced. It only recently reached the shores of the Middle East. I'm excited to try it. I'm proud that it is an English whiskey coming out. I'm slightly hesitant to think it's going to actually deliver anything too complex, but let's give it a go. So on that note, hats off, game on. So, wish me luck. Oh, that's actually, that's surprisingly easy on the nose. Let's do that and see what happens. Yes, changing, okay. So the initial for me was, I want to say, sweetness. Syrupy. Now, they do say plums in sweet syrup. I've never tasted or had plums in sweet syrup, thankfully, perhaps. However, sweet syrup, I do nose. And it has something of the country air to it. I grew up in the countryside. It has something of a, a spring. I think a spring, definitely. I could have pictured myself in the fields, always, always being chased by a farmer. That was us, we were naughty. I can picture myself in the fields. Perhaps, I must say, perhaps the tilling of the fields or even, even the hay baling. It's a strange sensation and if you haven't experienced it, you may not pick up on it, but for me, it's taking me back to my childhood. Okay. 
Slanger. <laughs> hmm. Wow, that is surprising. Oh, there we are, a little kick. Yes, there's the kick. I was waiting for it. It's still coming through. It's coming a little bit back up. That's warming me up. If I was in winter in England or a deluge, this would be a great little bite to wake up in. Um, so my mouth is slightly on fire because it's calf strength. But before that, and you may have read this at one point on, oh, yes, now it's, now it's kicking in. It was delightful. It really, really was delightful. It's not for someone who's never had whiskey before, because there's a bit of fire water to it. Again, I'm not going to recommend you drink it naked as nature intended. But it's certainly fun to have done that. And actually, it tells me, now that fire kick has gone, the subtlety there, the warmth is there, it actually tells me, that if this is their entrance level, then I really do want to taste their single malt that has been award-winning. That's impressive for me. Not because I'm English, because I recognize for a new area, new territory to produce a whiskey, it's easy to produce something that's too harsh. Now, Castrev, that's not too harsh. All right. Adios, amigo. Now, I'm excited for the water, so I'm moving on to the ice. Let's see what happens. We still have the uh, syrupy, plums and sweet syrup on the nose. There, no, don't add it to ice. I'm sure Daniel Zor is delighted to hear that. Don't add it to ice. No, 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 no. Okay. Let's try and get rid of that, shake that off. Okay, my friend, the Padre. Let's see what happens here. Oh, that's different. Okay, now, I'm gonna say, caramel butterscotch. I'm not very good at distinguishing between caramel and butterscotch. I'm not that good a taste, I'm afraid. But for me, caramel butterscotch, that kind of sweet toffee, and it is a sweet syrup, but it's more toffee. The water's brought that out. It's very sensual now. Let's see what happens when she enters my mouth. Now oh, that's interesting. I purposefully wanted to masticate that with the water. I wanted to see what the senses were telling me compared to when I had it just too much in cast strength. Look, I'm not sure that works for me. It's not bad. It lingers, it's heavy. You might think that um, it wouldn't have much of a hitch. You know, some of those, um, if you, if you take the jurors, if you take the nicker, they don't last too long. This is lingering. So I think that this probably does deserve an evening where you're next to one another, talking the night away, and just having a sip. And then sitting back and appreciating it. Because it actually, it doesn't do a lot in the mouth, but once you hit the back and once it goes down, with the water it doesn't burn. But once it goes down, it is a fiery whiskey. And it's got substance, that's what surprises me. So I don't think this is an entrance level whiskey for people who are new to whiskey. But it, if you like a whiskey and you're more towards a Macallan end than a Petey end, I would say, give it a shot. Try something new, just have it in your repertoire. Um, I'm looking forward to trying the single malt. Would I buy this again? 
No, I wouldn't. I wouldn't buy the Super Nika again either. The Dewars I would. So that's my note to you so far. This is the third affordable whiskey we've tasted. And from that, my dear friends, I shall leave you. Stay safe, be good, have fun. And remember, Man in the Sands Pub is a safe space for everyone. If you don't have something positive to say or to share, then please don't. Take care, look after yourselves. Until the next time, where I'm gonna be tasting two next to each other.